Here's the ministry building. This is a real nice meal that they make for the kids every day. It's like a little bit of hamburger, some rice, and a little coleslaw, and a uh, tortilla. That's how they unload the truck here. We went to the farmer's market. And it's a huge farmer's market. There's about 10 of these long aisles of nothing but produce. So they gave, this was, this truck was empty when we started and they gave, the vendors gave some produce. But they gave a lot more than that. All this was given in just a matter of hours for the mission. Here we are back at the mission and all the food that we collected this day is being unloaded and brought into the uh, inside the mission and it's not only going to go to the missions, our, this mission, but it's also going to be distributed to other missions and other families and later this afternoon we're going to go ahead and distribute to uh, families in this area. Here we are at the school, uh, about 1,100 people go to this school and it's a fortress, it has barbed wire fence everywhere um, because there's gangs everywhere. This is the black gate with barbed wire that keeps the gangs out of the school. Um, I can't take pictures outside these walls because um, gang members are everywhere. Um, Jose did say that he was bringing a bunch of gringos in the gang area and not to shoot us, which is kind of cool. Anyways, the kids are cute and they, they love us, they hug on us, they're beautiful. And here's the guys out there playing soccer with them. Hola! Here they're getting all the bikes out for the kids and they set up these cones all the way to the mission there and they have a whole stack of bikes so it's kind of neat. Right here at the, uh, the home that uh, Jose wants for Hope for Guatemala. And we're praying that he gets this. Uh, it would be a dream come true to be able to have something in the middle of Zone 18 uh, for the kids, much larger than what he has now. It's about eight acres. Hola. Hola. And down the field here, there's a, it's round where they could uh, ride their bikes. It's safe. 
it's all guarded and there's a swimming pool inside and a great area for a soccer field over here. But this building is surrounded by paradise in the middle of Zone 18, an urban jungle, and this is incredible. Look at this. Banana trees, large mature trees. It's paradise. Boy, if the kids could have this, it'd be incredible. They like the paddles, they're pretty good. They're better than me with the paddles. It was really cold, but it was very refreshing. And look at this soccer court for kids to play soccer. It's all on this huge estate. So this used to be just drywall. What we did was we finished the drywall off and we painted all the walls in here. And this is gonna be a wood shop for kids. And Fosto is gonna teach them how to do woodworking. So we are looking at zone 18. And um, this used to be nothing but pieces of drywall. But we sanded and we finished everything. And now we're putting the final painting on. And this is going to be the workshop that, uh, that I showed earlier. It's amazing, this waterfall and this small is uh, spectacular. Um, if you can see, it reads, it, it's, it has patterns and it, it says the name of the mall and then it says welcome. Uh, so it can actually spell out um, different uh, words. There's, there it is, Senapolis. And here's welcome. Isn't that amazing? That's water. Just a waterfall. And uh, you can see how big the mall is. It's huge. Three stories high. All your very expensive um, stores and a huge food market with Domino's and Subway and McDonald's and Taco Bell. Uh, this is how the other side lives.